Hello and welcome to this example and troubleshooting of two monitors in DCX Black Shark running off DCS World. Now I've set up a configuration file here just so we can experiment a little bit with the settings. So I've got one viewport. I have a left monitor and a, and a right monitor. The left one I want to set up a shook valve and, and the ABRIS multifunction displays on. And they're both 1920p monitors, so my main monitor is the one on the right. So in the configuration file we have one viewport, which is defined as center, and it's offset from the left by the resolution of the left monitor. It set its resolution here, and it says the, the monitor is the one on the right. Underneath the defined viewports we have left MFCD and this equates to Shukval with DCS World. So on the left monitor on pixel 0 we have a width of 960 which is half the left monitor at 720 pixels high in the center left of the left monitor because it's going down by 180 pixels so it'll appear in the center left of the left monitor our shook file because it's just a square TV and the ABRIS which is defined here as right MFCD which this should be 960 half the width of the left monitor it'll start it'll go for the other half and it'll be the full height so the right side of the left monitor will be taken up by the ABRIS Let's load the game and see how this looks. So before we go into the game, we just got to make sure that our resolution is set correctly. So I've got two 1920 by 1080p monitors. So the total resolution of the two monitors is 3840 by 1080. And I'm using my, my profile that I've set up called 2x monitors. So the game loaded fine, appears to be fine. On the left monitor I have my shook file as I wanted and I have the ABRIS which is right there. I'll press escape to see if the menu clears but I cannot click on the menu and I cannot click anywhere in the cockpit. The mouse doesn't seem to want to click anywhere, it doesn't register the mouse location correctly. The keys work, keyboard commands work just fine. I can zoom in. On the left monitor I see my shook valve and on the right half of the left monitor is the ABRIS. But the mouse will not click. It will not even click on the menu. I have to load task manager to quit the game. So, I'm not sure why the mouse would not click. So, what I'll do is I'll, I, I'll change this offset on the viewport to zero. Now, this will not fix it, but it will show something curious and a potential bug. And maybe DCS um, programmers can fix this problem at a later date if, if it is a bug. What you can see, the, the mouse still will not click on the actual menu item, but if I move the mouse to the position on the right side of the screen, on the right monitor, 190, 20 pixels to the right, it highlights the buttons that are rendered on the left, but it seems to be taking the location from 190, 20 pixels offset to the right, so that must be what happened previously, but because the the end of the monitor was on the right, I couldn't actually highlight the buttons because that's the end of the screen. But as you can see, the buttons work on the um, when when I move the mouse 190 20 pixels on the right side, which is very strange. So I've played around with these settings <coughs> and nothing seems to work. 
Um, I, I'm not an expert in this game anyway, but... Yeah, the whole thing seems very strange. But I did find a way, a workaround that is very simple to implement, if you don't mind clicking a couple of things before you load the game. So with Windows 7, you can position your monitor's location in relation to each other. So if I click, if I right click on the Windows 7 desktop and go to Screen Resolution, you see here are my monitors. Monitor 2 is my main display and on the left I have the other window. Now because of the way the wiring is and everything is set up it's not convenient for me to just flip these around. Everything at the moment is working the wires are all connected it's just it's handy the way they are at the moment I don't want to physically move them around. But what I can do if I simply click on number one and drag it to the right, I can reposition it to the right side of my main display. You saw the number there, it said 1920, so it's 1920 pixels positioned to the right. And if I click OK, everything remains the same, but to access my left monitor I have to move the mouse to the right side and that will, but with the game, because I won't be dragging and dropping in the game, you know, it, it'll, it'll work just for using it this way with the game. So if I position now, if I change the settings in the config file, we might be able to get somewhere and still be able to click around the cockpit and use the cockpit and be able to click on the menu items. So the first thing I'll need to change is the position of the Schuckval and the Abrus. So I want to move it right 1920 pixels so it moves onto my, my left monitor. And I want to set this halfway, so 1920 plus 960, which will be 2880. So this will push these, um, it's the monitor resolution in the game is still set at uh, 3840. So it'll take up two monitors. But now the monitor that's physically on my left, Windows is saying that's on my right. So anytime I move things to the right, it'll move into the left monitor. So by pushing these um, windows to the right, they will render on my left monitor. And all I had to do was right click on the Windows desktop, go to screen resolution and drag the window from left to right. So now from the video perspective I have my main viewing monitor and on the right side I have my Shukval and Abris on the video, but to me this is on the leftmost monitor, so this is taking up the Schuckval and Abris uh, MFCDs are on my leftmost monitor. So I pushed them to the right of the screen and because I said Windows in, in the window setting I dragged my left monitor to the right, they push into my left monitor. On the video, this main viewport will look like it's on the left and these will look like they're on the right. That's how the pixels are arranged. But because of the way I move the monitors in Windows, um, these appear on my leftmost monitor as I wanted. So, and the buttons work, as you can see, they highlight. I can click resume, I can click on the cockpit, the interactive cockpit, the buttons work. So, it's perfect. Everything is exactly as I want it to be now. And all I have to do when I exit the game is to just drag that monitor back across in, this, in, 
in the screen resolution window. It's a simple solution to a fairly complex counterintuitive problem that's got quite a few bugs in my opinion. Anyway, I hope this helped you.